Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. So in this video, we are actually going to learn about the anatomy of the deep peroneal nerve in terms of the origin, course, relations as well as branches. So when it comes to the deep peroneal nerve, it is actually the nerve of the anterior compartment of the leg. So you have to know this is the nerve of the anterior compartment of the leg because it is going to supply the anterior compartment of the leg. So actually this also supplies the dorsum of the foot as well. It actually corresponds to the posterior interosseous nerve of the forearm and now it is renamed as the deep fibular nerve. It is renamed as the deep fibular nerve. So now moving on to the origin of the origin of the deep peroneal nerve. The origin takes place actually from the it is actually the one of the two terminal branches of the common peroneal nerve. We have the common peroneal nerve right. It is going to give one branch and another branch. This this branch is called as the superficial superficial peroneal nerve and another branch is called as the deep peroneal nerve. So the common peroneal nerve it is going to give two branches the superficial peroneal nerve as well as the deep peroneal nerve. So this deep peroneal nerve is actually the ventral primary rami of the L4, L5 and S1 and S2. It is it is the ventral primary rami of the yeah, root value L4, L5, S1 and S2. So we have the common peroneal nerve. This is the common peroneal nerve. It is going to give two branches superficial peroneal nerve as well as the deep peroneal nerve. So this deep peroneal nerve is the ventral primary rami of the L4, L5, S1 and S2. So this is about the origin of the deep peroneal nerve. Now moving on to the course and relations. So what do we know about the course and relations of the deep peroneal nerve? Actually the course it actually begins at the lateral side of the neck of the fibula. We have the neck of the fibula. This is the tibia. It is going to begin lateral to the neck of the fibula like this. It is going to begin like this lateral to the neck of the fibula. From here it will give one branch that is called as the superficial peroneal nerve. And then uh, the deep peroneal nerve will actually cross in front of the neck of the fibula like this. And then afterwards it will continue downwards along laterally to the anterior tibial artery. And afterwards near the ankle it is going to divide. So we have the common peroneal nerve giving branch to the superficial peroneal nerve as well as the deep peroneal nerve lateral to the neck of the fibula. The deep peroneal nerve is going to cross the neck of the fibula pass anterior uh, parallel to the anterior tibial artery and it is going to going all the way up to the uh, dorsum of the ankle. So this is about the course as well as uh, relations. So when it comes to the relations again we have the muscles that is the extensor relicis longus and extensor distorum longus as well as the tibialis anterior. Those are the different muscles that the deep peroneal nerve is going to relate. Now finally moving on to the branches of the deep peroneal nerve. So what do we have under the, the branches of the deep peroneal nerve? We have muscular branches, muscular branches as well as we also have cutaneous branches. We have the muscular branches as well as the cutaneous branches. When it comes to the muscular branches, it is going to supply all the four muscles of the anterior compartment of the leg. It is going to supply all of the four muscles of the anterior compartment of the leg as well as the extensor distorum brevis which is situated on the dorsum of the foot as well. And when it comes to the cutaneous branches, it is going to supply the skin of the first interdigital cuft. We have the big toe right, big toe and the small toes and it is going to supply in between the first interdigital cleft. So it is going to give cutaneous branches in, in between the big toe and the finger and it is when it comes to the muscular branches, it is going to supply the all four muscles of the anterior compartment of the leg. So thank you guys, thank you for watching. This was just an anatomy video of the deep peroneal nerve. If you like it, make sure to subscribe and hit the like button and you can always share it to other friends and people to learn more about the anatomy.